Registered Phenomena Code 287 Object Class Beta Black Hazard Types Aquatic Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-287 is to be used as a cleaning tool for RPC cleaning staff and kept in a standard cleaning supplies locker. RPC-287 is to be kept locked tight in a waterproof black class vault as of Incident RPC-287-1. No contact is to be made with any injured personnel or large bodies of liquid. Testing is to be granted only by approval and supervision by a majority vote of global directors. The vault itself is completely depressurized, allowing no moisture or liquid within, and may only be opened with a duo confirmation from two global directors. Upon the unlock procedure being completed, the vault will pressurize and reopen, and moisture sensors will activate within the vault. Upon any moisture being detected, the vault will immediately depressurize and relock, disallowing exit or entry for 24 hours, upon which normal testing procedures can continue. At all times, two armed guards from Protection Unit RPC-287 must be guarding the container. These agents are to be rotated out no less than every four hours to prevent any possible cognitohazard effects from RPC-287. They are to be equipped with flamethrowers and full-body heat-resistant hazardous environmental suits. Under no circumstances should any drinking water come within 50 meters of RPC-287's containment location. This is marked by an on-site kill zone, clearly marked for all on-site researchers and staff to see. RPC-287 is a standard bath towel, originally 76 cm by 146 cm in size. Currently, the towel size is meters by meters. RPC-287 was originally white in coloration, turned red due to its anomalous effect. Anyone who comes into contact with the towel will describe it as extremely comfortable and will express a want to lie down on it or hold it. It is unknown if this is an anomalous effect or a natural effect of the towel's material. RPC-287 functions as the towel does. It will soak up any type of liquid it is pushed against and will increase in mass based on how much liquid that it soaks into it. However, the object never appears to get wet and on-site staff seem to be unable to wring or expulse the liquid out of RPC-287 when it soaked any sort of liquid. This does not seem to work with water in a form other than liquid. RPC-287 was obtained from Montana. A report of a string of murders, years apart, where the victim's blood would be drained from their entire body. When the authority went to investigate and discern the cause of these unusual murders, the agent found the towel already 1.9 by 3.65 meters in dimensions. As the local authorities had already been investigating this case for some time, and no murder weapon could be found by the authorities' best on-site detectives, the towel was brought in for routine forensic analysis. Detectives, after further investigation of the string of murders, found that all first responder photos always had the person wrapped up in the same towel. Addendum 287-1 during a containment breach of one Beta-class object, RPC-287 was used by a field medic to cover two agents wounded at the same time using the towel and was applied pressure by the medic's hands. It was discovered at that time that if RPC-287 is pressured to an open wound, that it will start to siphon blood from the open wound into its cloth. The field medic only began to realize this after the agents had lost three liters of their blood and they promptly expired before they could be moved to the on-site hospital. The object seemed to get disproportionately bigger from absorbing blood rather than water, and grew meters. At this point, RPC-287 weighed kilograms. On orders of the board, it was to be contained due to the increasing exponential growth of RPC-287 from its originally 1.9 by 3.65 meter size when found in Montana. Now in size. On further investigation, it was deduced that RPC-287 was the cause of the containment breach. Due to their movement and knowledge of Site-14, it is likely that this GOI knew of RPC-287's location within the site and of its anomalous property. 
It is not known that this is an anomalous effect of the item or past history with said GOI. Note, the way RPC-287 absorbed blood from the wound of the agent suggests the object only killed when the user had an open wound. This accounts for the string of deaths over the years. Cut yourself while shaving or in any other accident and use this towel, and the subject will die if it is held up to the wound for too long. A statement from Site-014 Director I've heard the jokes, the laughs, ha ha did you hear, a towel is beta class, what's it gonna do, dry me to death? I want to remind all staff that RPC-287 can cause an end of the world scenario. The end of all life on Earth, smothered by a huge towel. Wouldn't that be a hoot? Ha <laughs> ha!